What's quantum decoherence? At its core, it's the process where quantum systems lose their quantum coherence. Imagine particles like electrons. In the quantum world, they are described by something called a wave function, which represents their quantum state. This wave function is all about probabilities and can explain various quantum effects. Now here's the cool part. As long as there's a definite phase relationship between different states, the system remains coherent. This coherence is crucial for quantum computing. Think of coherence like a perfectly synchronized dance. In the quantum world, this synchronization allows us to perform complex computations. But here's the catch. If a quantum system were perfectly isolated, it would remain coherent indefinitely. However, we wouldn't be able to manipulate or even observe it. The moment we try to measure or interact with it, the system shares its coherence with the environment. Essentially, coherence gets mixed with the environment's many degrees of freedom. This process is called quantum decoherence. So what happens during decoherence? Well, it's like losing information from the system to its surroundings. Imagine every system loosely coupled with the energetic state of its environment. When we view the system alone, its dynamics become non-unitary and irreversible. But if we consider the system plus the environment together, they evolve in a unitary fashion. Here's a simple analogy. Think of it like energy lost to friction in classical mechanics. The energy isn't really lost, it's just converted into heat in the environment. Similarly, in quantum decoherence, the coherence isn't gone, it's just shared with the environment. This loss of coherence plays a massive role in how we transition from the quantum world to the classical world we experience daily. It's like a bridge between the two realms, and it's this very process that quantum computers must overcome to utilize the full power of quantum mechanics. So why is this important? To examine how decoherence operates, let's delve into an intuitive model. This model requires a basic understanding of quantum theory, but don't worry, we'll break it down step by step. Imagine a classical phase space, a visualizable concept where each particle's position and momentum are represented. In quantum mechanics, we use a similar concept called a Hilbert space, but here, positions and momenta are represented by operators that do not commute. This space is complex-valued and higher dimensional, reflecting the quantum nature of particles. Now, let's consider an n-particle system. In classical mechanics, this system can be represented in a phase space of six n-dimensions. In quantum mechanics, however, this quantum phase space involves a complex-valued function on a three n-dimensional space. When previously isolated systems begin to interact, their state vectors evolve through a combined phase space with increased dimensionality. As these systems interact, their wave functions expand in different ways, forming a quantum superposition. Each expansion corresponds to a basis chosen at will, and elements of this basis interact with the environment in specific ways. This interaction causes the elements to rapidly separate and evolve independently, leading to a loss of interference, essentially decoherence. In phase space, this process is monitored through the Wigner quasi-probability distribution. The elements that decohere are effectively lost from each other, and this decoupling is known as environmentally induced superselection or einselection. When a system interacts with a measuring device which acts as an environment with many hidden degrees of freedom, their wave functions become entangled. Decoherence occurs when different portions of the system's wave function become entangled in different ways with the measuring device. This leads to the system behaving as a classical statistical ensemble rather than a coherent quantum superposition. An interpretation of quantum mechanics is essentially an attempt to explain how the mathematical theory of quantum physics might correspond to the reality we experience. Decoherence calculations can be done under any interpretation of quantum mechanics as these calculations are grounded in the standard mathematical tools of quantum theory. However, the subject of decoherence has been closely intertwined with the interpretation problem throughout its history. Decoherence has been pivotal in understanding the possibility of wave function collapse in quantum mechanics. It's important to note that decoherence does not cause actual wave function collapse. Instead, it provides a framework for what appears to be wave function collapse as the quantum nature of the system leaks into the environment. Think of it this way. Components of the wave function get decoupled from a coherent system and acquire phases from their immediate surroundings. 
While a total superposition of the global or universal wave function still exists and remains coherent at a global level, its ultimate fate remains an interpretational issue. When it comes to the measurement problem, decoherence offers an explanation for the system's transition to a mixture of states that seem to correspond to those states observers perceive. Observations indicate that this mixture resembles a proper quantum ensemble during a measurement, leading to the realization of precisely one state in the ensemble. The philosophical views of Werner Heisenberg and Niels Bohr have often been grouped under the Copenhagen interpretation, despite significant differences between them on crucial points. In 1955, Heisenberg suggested that the interaction of a system with its surrounding environment would eliminate quantum interference effects. However, he didn't provide a detailed account of how this might occur, nor did he highlight the importance of entanglement in the process. In our journey through the world of decoherence, it's essential to understand the time scales involved. Decoherence represents an extremely rapid process, especially for macroscopic objects. These objects interact with countless microscopic particles, each with numerous degrees of freedom in their natural environment. This swift process helps explain why quantum behavior is rarely observed in everyday macroscopic objects. Instead, we witness classical fields emerging from the interactions between matter and radiation, especially when dealing with large quantities of matter. The time it takes for the off-diagonal components of the density matrix to effectively vanish is known as the decoherence time. For everyday macroscale processes, this decoherence time is typically incredibly short. Modern definitions of decoherence time are based on the short time behavior of the fidelity between the initial and time-dependent states, or equivalently the decay of the purity. In conclusion, quantum decoherence serves as a crucial bridge between the quantum and classical worlds. It explains how quantum systems lose their coherence and behave more classically as they interact with their environment. This understanding not only deepens our grasp of quantum mechanics, but also paves the way for advancements in quantum computing and other technologies. Decoherence, while often seen as a challenge, is also a key to unlocking the potential of quantum computers. By comprehending and controlling decoherence, scientists can develop more stable and reliable quantum bits, or qubits, which are the building blocks of quantum computation. These advancements could revolutionize fields such as cryptography, material science and complex system modeling. Moreover, the principles of decoherence are being explored for innovative applications beyond computing. For instance, they could lead to breakthroughs in quantum communication, enabling ultra-secure data transmission. Additionally, understanding decoherence can enhance the precision of quantum sensors, which have potential applications in medicine, navigation and environmental monitoring. As we continue to explore the intricate dance between quantum coherence and decoherence, we stand on the brink of a new technological era. The insights gained today will fuel the innovations of tomorrow, shaping a future where quantum mechanics plays a central role in our technological landscape.